really weird mood today. This is gonna be a very high energy video. Welcome back to my channel, Love Bugs. I'm so excited you're here. I know it might sound a little funky with my voice, but that's because I'm in my new house that I bought and there's nothing in here. I'm literally sitting on the floor right now talking to you guys from a stool. So I uh, don't know if I'll be able to film in here a lot. I just wanted to get one video done in here. It's the first property I've ever bought. I'm really excited. Um, I just started cleaning it out so I can do renovations. And uh, yeah, so if it's a little echoey, that would be why. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today we're going to talk about spiritual awakenings. Ooh, ah, magical. It's not though. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of is, but it's not. Look, I know it sounds extremely woo woo, but this stuff is very real. In this video, I am going to share with you guys the experience I have had this past year as I began my spiritual awakening journey. I do want to start this off by saying that before this happened to me, I had no idea what a spiritual awakening even was. Like, no idea. Like, what? You got? Mm, no. <laughs> I didn't know what an empath was. I didn't know there was a spiritual community. I literally knew nothing. The simplest way I can really describe what a spiritual awakening really is, is simply waking up and realizing that you have been essentially living behind a curtain. And what I mean by that is that, well, we essentially have two parts to who we are. We have our ego, and we have our higher self. Our ego is what we are most familiar with. It's our physical world, material items, people, thoughts, that kind of stuff. The stuff that you don't even think about being a thing. <laughs> our higher self is eternal. It, it's our soul that is connected with every other soul, every other creature. We are one with everything, with the universe, with God, with each other. Like it's just more um, infinite. So waking up is really just a shift from the ego to the higher self, or even understanding that you were living through the ego and you want to essentially live through your higher self to work towards what many call enlightenment. And it's realizing that we all, yes, all of us have a higher self because we all are one. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so how does someone begin a spiritual awakening? Well, it's obviously different for everyone as many things are, but through my research and through the past year, what I have found is that there are really two main ways that people begin a spiritual journey. The first way that is typically what reveals someone to start going through a spiritual awakening is some kind of traumatic event that happens in their life. The second one is what actually happened to me and that was literally just someone telling me, someone telling me I was an empath, someone telling me about a spiritual awakening. <laughs> like. Can it get much simpler than that? So I don't know, maybe I'll psh, catalyst a spiritual awakening in you. And if you like that thought, go ahead and smash the like button, hit subscribe. So this is my one year anniversary with going through my spiritual awakening, which is what prompted me to want to make this video to kind of explain in a nutshell what I've been through this past year. So I wanna start off by telling you kind of what my story is real quick. So as a lot of you know, I am in real estate full time. I go on appointments, but due to COVID this time last year, I was only doing phone appointments and I was on a phone appointment. It was a Saturday morning and I was talking to a client about her property, you know, that we were looking to buy from her. And 
throughout the conversation, she just, I don't know, she, she started telling me all these things about my life and specific events that happen and, and, and ways that I am and things that I think. And it was so eerily on point that it kind of freaked me out, but it was really cool. This, and I, I was, I was hooked. I was like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. I feel that way. What the hell? <laughs> and I was on the phone with her. Usually my phone appointments for work are 15, 20, 25 minutes. We were on the phone for an hour and a half. I literally felt this buzz within me. And the, the best way I can describe what I felt that day was like, <laughs> if you think about uh, Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man, right? Spider comes out, you know, this is my spider. Spider comes out, bites him. And then it goes inwards to his cellular level and you see his insides changing from the inside out. And that was literally what I felt like. I literally felt like my being changed like in an instant. It was the weirdest thing, especially not even knowing what was going on because I was like, what, what the hell? I literally just had a phone appointment with a client and now I'm like, you know, Yoda, whatever. I don't know. It was weird. I felt like I had been seeing life through a semi sheer curtain and suddenly that curtain was ripped, ripped away, ripped off. And it was like, it was like all of a sudden I was seeing clearly for the first time. For about two weeks, my senses even heightened. Like my, my sense of hear, like my hearing was insane. Every, every little sound, my like, oh, oh my God. You know what it was like? It was like a combination of Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man and Belle and Twilight. That's what it freaking felt like. <laughs> If you're new on my channel, you're probably like, oh my God, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> but that's what it felt like. I felt like my smell went crazy. My hearing went crazy. I even felt like everything looked more beautiful and more clear. Um, and this only lasted, like I said, for about two weeks or so. And then what happened was I had a few alcoholic drinks. I'm not a big drinker. And that actually like wiped this um, heightened senses and this kind of experience away from me. And I was really upset about it. I didn't understand what had happened, but it, I don't know. It is what it is. It just, it just happened. I still don't really get it. I know it lowered my vibration, but I'm really upset that I lost those heightened senses because that was a really cool thing to go through. So I don't know. Weird shit, man. And while I do believe a spiritual awakening is 100% a positive thing, there comes a lot of despair, darkness, depression. I started seeing life. I started seeing people in a different way, in a new way. And the thing was is, it's, it's almost like it's out of my control. It's like I kind of go back and forth through seeing the world through my ego and my higher self. And I'm basically shifting from the ego to the higher self. And it's like the blinds keep coming down the further I go into this journey. And I started seeing myself in a different way too. As time went on, I really started to feel out of alignment with a lot of things in my life. Um, events, jobs, people that I was really close to, you know, even like my own passions and things that I love and things that made me happy, um, I was realizing like didn't really make me happy anymore. And as I've gotten into this journey further, I now realize that a lot of that is because some of the things that I thought I enjoyed or that I thought made me happy were actually based in my ego and weren't based in my higher self, which is your true authentic self. And so now that that veil was lifted, I could no longer relate to the things that I thought made me happy from my ego and my soul, my, my being was craving and still craves things that satisfy my higher self and my soul. And the thing is guys, like 
I felt lonely for a very long time. I felt like I was in a depression that I've never felt before and I felt like I was never going to come out of. And sometimes I still feel that way. I started diving into books and research. I started watching different kinds of content on YouTube. I started journaling, I started meditating. I really leaned into this experience and learning about it and had more of an open mind than I even knew possible. And I've always considered myself a very open-minded person, but going through this experience has definitely expanded that for me, which has just been one of the most beautiful things about it. You know, I, I, I hired coaches, I started new programs, I, I got back on YouTube. I even started going to church again, and I, I haven't gone to church in over a decade. You know, I have always been the book definition of an extrovert. As time went on through the spiritual awakening, I became more and more of an introvert. And I'm sure COVID had something to do with that as well. But I feel like these two situations, the spiritual awakening and COVID, had to happen simultaneously in my life. And I think that that's why I hadn't gone through my spiritual awakening yet it was because I think in hindsight I needed to be almost forced into looking within and digging within myself and getting back to reading and research and everything and I don't know that I would have done that had COVID not you know been around had we not been in isolation at that point because we were in total isolation like that this time last year. You know, I forgot how much I love even simple things like the outdoors and I forgot how much I love reading. And you know, the thing is, is I go inwards and I ask myself the hard questions. I face issues and scars from my past head freaking on. I'll sit with it. I'll ask myself, well, why, well, why, why, why? until I get answers from myself, from my inner self, from my higher self. All the answers are within us, which is like, I know, so woo woo, but it's so freaking true. And from someone who never knew what this stuff was and never believed in it, I am a testament to show you like this shit is real. And I gotta tell you, I mean, asking yourself and going deep with these questions and, and, and you're dealing with your past, it's not easy. It's the furthest thing from it. It's not fun to do, but it's so necessary to do to make sure you get to the root of things so that you can truly, truly heal them and really grow because otherwise, you're just throwing band-aids on things and it's never going to actually heal and you're never actually going to have that peace and happiness. And to be honest, I believe that I am still going through what the spiritual community calls the dark night of the soul. And I'll definitely get further into that on other videos, but basically what it is in my, in my own words <laughs> is Kind of like a time frame where you are purging and looking within to see what true bad habits you have, why you're in certain relationships that you're in, and why you are the way you are, why you have certain tendencies that you do or that I do that don't make sense or that you don't want to have. Why do you drink alcohol? Why do you smoke nicotine? And it's a really confusing place to be in, it can be really dark. And for someone that's never faced a true depression before, like I've obviously gone through my things, everyone has a past, everyone has things they need to heal from, but I've never considered myself someone who was depressed. So a lot of these feelings for me were really new on top of the confusion of what I was even going through as far as the spiritual awakening goes on top of the loneliness, on top of COVID, it was, it was a lot to deal with at once. And I felt very lost. And honestly, the, the lost feeling is kind of still within me. I'm still trying to kind of find my way. But being a year into this now, I've been able to accept that 
it's okay I'm at where I'm at and I'm not feeling stressed out or pressured about it like I was, you know, a year ago. But it's kind of described as almost like a rite of passage to be able to get to what people call enlightenment. In my opinion, I don't know that enlightenment is, some, enlightenment is something that's ever actually achieved. I feel like I'm such a baby in this process still that um, to me that doesn't even sound feasible but some people claim to reach it. I don't know. I don't know. To me, it seems like a spiritual awakening is really a never ending journey, but I could be wrong. Like, I don't know, but that's just kind of my opinion as far as being your intuit goes. One of the things is that I've started to realize that external things, things based in the ego, you know, jobs, money, cars, houses, whatever, they don't matter, you know? Like they don't mean anything they don't bring peace we think they do because our ego tells us that's what brings us peace but in reality they don't i've started caring less about what others think of me and more about actually being my authentic self i've gotten to the point where it's kind of like hey if you don't like me okay whereas before before I was such a people pleaser. I, I couldn't stand the thought of like someone not liking me. Like I just wanted, I just wanted to be friends with everyone. And now I've realized like, hey, you know, not everyone is for everyone. And like, that's cool, <laughs> you know? I crave deep, deep, deep connections, deep talks about, you know, anything. I mean, cosmos, the universe, life, afterlife death thoughts dreams i mean i love talking about that kind of stuff and you know small talk and surface level relationships i cannot stand anymore if it's not something good or something that we can really like get go deep on i'm not even interested in speaking about it and that's very different from where i used to be i used to love small talk i used to love talking to everyone i saw on the street in the grocery store whatever now i shy away from that i don't i'm not interested in it and i used to beat myself up about that why well, not like this anymore well you know what it's okay it's okay as long as i'm being authentically myself and what's wrong with craving deep relationships and deep connections with you know friends and families and, and loved ones. There's nothing wrong with that. I have begun to know myself on a much deeper level than I ever thought was even possible that I didn't even know existed. And that's what's been so, so beautiful about this journey is because there are so many people out in the world that are going through the same thing. So to meet other people, to align with other people that are going through this kind of thing as well is just so empowering and beautiful and it almost seems kind of magical. <laughs> and I truly believe that this is the path to true happiness, true inner peace, and really what all human beings crave at our core because that's what our core is, it's our soul. We just don't know that until we start to wake up, until we start to go through a spiritual awakening. And what's really cool about it is that we all have the ability to go on this journey. We all have a higher self. And it's just really whether we choose to embark on the journey to know our soul or not. Do you want to know your life purpose? Do you want to know why you're here? Do you want to know who you are at your core? And if you don't, that's cool. That's your journey. My journey is my journey and your journey is your journey. But the beautiful thing is the power of choice. We get to choose what we want to do. But I'll tell you, once you start down this road, you can't go back. It's, you can't, it's not possible. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I am so grateful for that client that I spoke to a year ago on the phone who just, uh, she felt called, you know, she told me that on the call and she felt called to open up to me about this and talk to me about it. And uh, she changed my life. And <laughs> I don't know, maybe this video will get to one person or two people or whatever and it'll change theirs. But I really just wanted to get on here and share with you guys the journey that I've been going through the past year. And this is just such a condensed version of it. So 
you know, let me know in the comments below if you like content like this, if you are going through a spiritual awakening yourself and what your experience has been like, because I just really want to build a community of people that, you know, can walk this path together and go through life together and be connected on a deep level and really you know support and love one another like that's what my channel is all about like that's what i'm all about so if you've gone through one if you're going through one let me know in the comments below i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video i was really excited to make it and again sorry about the sound but i couldn't not film in my new house you know i love you guys don't forget be limitlessly yourself